good evening students welcome to basic electrical lectures and in this lecture i am going to explain a derived condition for maximum efficiency of a transformer very much important and most expected question in transformer either they will ask uh, derived m of equation of transformer or this derivation okay and it is a uh, class number line see those who are uh, uh, directly watching this video so you should watch without any forwarding okay because i explained uh, the basics on efficiency in the previous video if you watch the previous video this derivation you can understand with one take okay so let we can start so we know that we know that we know that efficiency of a transformer is given by output power divided by input power what is input power output power plus total losses what is numerator power output output power is v2 i2 into cos pi okay and input power is output power plus total losses what is output power in transformer yes v2 i2 into cos pi why v2 i2 output is on secondary side that's why i written secondary power okay plus total losses it includes iron losses plus full load copper losses iron losses plus full load copper losses i am going to write full load copper losses with this equation i2 square r2e now take this equation number 1 see actually full load copper losses is equal to primary copper loss i1 square r1 plus secondary copper loss i2 square r2 so in the previous video i given a proper reason we can write this losses i1 square r1 plus i2 square r2 can be written as i1 square r1 e or i2 square r2 e okay this losses i can write either i1 square r1 e or i2 square r2 e so got it so since we are uh, discussing all the parameters of secondary i have taken i2 square r2 e what is our intention and aim i want to get maximum efficiency how we can get maximum efficiency if there is no losses in a device in a static device so output power is same as input power then maximum efficiency will be 100% so practically it is not possible so theoretically we can provide a condition to achieve the maximum efficiency see now here we have two terms we are considering only on losses if i reduce the losses efficiency will get improved or increase see iron losses this iron loss does not depends on loading condition whether transformer is loaded or not loaded secondary is loaded or not loaded this iron losses will remain constant so called iron losses nothing but constant losses but copper loss is not like that the full load copper loss is current dependent if secondary is loaded the secondary current increases if secondary current increases this copper loss increases copper loss increases efficiency will get decreases so i want to reduce the copper loss but i cannot make zero i can make the copper losses almost equal to iron losses is that condition let we can see in the derivation so i can reduce the copper losses at some extent okay i cannot make zero when transformer is loaded obviously current will flow obviously that uh, copper losses increases but what extent i can improve the efficiency that is called maximum efficiency what is the condition for that see now in order to obtain a condition for maximum efficiency we have to differentiate equation 1 with respect to current equation 1 with respect to current see i am writing that so some students are thinking sir why differentiation only why you are not doing integration don't worry i will give the reason okay differentiate equation 1 with respect to with respect to current guys look at here by differentiation so what is the differentiation of x square differentiation of x square is 2x 
once again you differentiate once again you differentiate what do you get differentiation of 2x is equal to what 2 finally what you will get if you keep on differentiating at the end you will get one constant value so and if you if you differentiate the constant what you will get zero but you cannot make copper loss of zero when transformer is loaded okay definitely small amount of current will be there you can make the current some constant value okay so now when copper loss is equal to iron losses okay then the maximum efficiency can be obtained so same thing we can get once we complete the derivation suppose if i do integration what happens what is integration of x square x cube by 3 okay x cube by 3 once again you integrate if you integrate once again what you will get x to the power of 4 by 12 integrate once again see the variable x what is x here current so the current keep on increasing in powers so your losses will also increases if losses increases you cannot predict more efficiency you will get less less efficiency in order to get maximum less uh, sorry less efficiency you integrate equation one okay if you get maximum efficiency in order to get more efficiency differentiate equation one with respect to what what is the variable current okay because for iron loss there is no variable because it is constant whether load is there or not but copper loss continuously varies with the load therefore i have taken the load current as a variable so differentiate equation with respect to i2 understood no reason why i am differentiating it's uh, not doing inst integration if you integrate losses will increase then efficiency will decrease. What is our title? I am finding the condition for maximum efficiency of a transformer. Okay. Guys, pause the video and then copy down. See now, differentiate equation 1 with respect to I2. So, differentiation of efficiency with respect to I2 and equate to 0. Okay. And equate and equate to and equate to 0. See now it is in the form of uv rule. Sorry, u by v rule. Quotient rule. Numerator is u, denominator is v. What is the formula for this? Vishweshwarya Technological University VTU minus UTV Udaya TV divided by v square. VTU minus UTV divided by v square. Sorry, don't write uh, T you write d v into du minus u into dv okay divided by v square what is v see this entire thing is v okay denominator is what denominator is v and the numerator is u okay apply this formula here okay and equate to zero and equating to 0. So therefore we get numerator. Numerator I am writing. Look at here carefully. V. V into du. What is V? This entire equation you write once. Okay. Write as it as possible. V2 I2 cos pi plus pi plus I2 square R2e into okay v v i written into d into u differentiation of u u is this one v2 i2 cos pi okay then minus minus u into dv what is u this one v2 i2 cos pi into differentiation of into differentiation of v what is v write this entire thing so v2 i2 cos pi plus pi plus i2 square r2e all divided by v square. What is v square? v2 i2 cos pi plus pi plus i2 square r2e whole square and equated to 0. Nothing I done. 
I just applied this formula. VTU minus Udaya TV, Vishwasha Technological University minus Udaya TV. So just to simplify and put it here. So now differentiate this. So after differentiating, okay, what you will get? So V2 I2 cos pi plus pi plus I2 square R2e into what is our variable with respect to I2? Differentiation with respect to I2. What is the differentiation of x? 1. I2 is our variable, so it becomes 1. So this after differentiating V2 I2 cos pi 2, it becomes V2 cos pi. Okay, then minus V2 I2 cos pi. Okay, into differentiation of this. So summation. Okay, you can differentiate each and every term with respect to I2. So V2 is there. So you will get uh, V2 cos pi. Okay, plus Pi. What is Pi? Iron loss or constant loss. So differentiation of constant is what? 0. Plus differentiation of I square into R2E. What is our variable? I2. What is the differentiation of X square? 2X. But here we have I2 square. So therefore this becomes what? 2 times of I2 R2E is equal to 0. See this denominator get multiplied here. Then it becomes 0. Now keep on, now simplify all this. This into this. Okay, if you simplify this into this, V2 into V2, you will get V2 square I2 into cos square pi. Cos pi cos pi cos square pi. Plus this into this. V2 cos pi into pi. Plus this into this. V2 I2 square R2e into cos pi minus minus into plus minus this into this you multiply v2 into v2 yes very good v2 square into i2 into cos square pi minus into plus minus but something into 0 0 now minus into plus minus multiply this into this 2 times of 2 times of v2 v2 i2 into i2 i2 square into r2e into cos pi is equal to 0. See now which terms are same? Look at here. Plus v2 i2 square r2e cos pi. Okay. And minus 2 v2 see v2 i2 square r2e cos pi. Your constant is plus 1. Your constant is minus 2. Resultant becomes what? Minus 1. And any other term? Uh, now v2 square i2 cos square pi this is positive minus v2 square i2 cos square pi so this 2 will get cancelled so this and this will get cancelled next step I am going to write here I am writing here so v2 cos pi pi v2 cos pi cos pi pi now this and this will give what v2 i2 square r2e cos pi minus v2 i2 square r2e cos pi resultant becomes what minus v2 i2 square r2e cos pi is equal to what 0 now take this negative to right hand side so v2 cos pi pi is equal to v2 i2 square R2e into cos pi. Now cos pi, cos pi get cancelled. V2, V2 get cancelled. What is left now? Pi is equal to I2 square R2e. Pi is equal to I2 square RTE. Sorry, R2e. See, finally what we got? Iron loss is equal to copper loss. Or when copper loss is equal to iron loss, this is the condition to obtain maximum efficiency okay so this is the condition so iron loss iron loss should be equal to copper loss what is the condition for maximum efficiency copper loss should be equal to iron loss or iron loss should be equal to copper loss 
See, iron loss is equal to copper loss, that is not correct. Okay, but when copper loss is equal to iron loss, that is 100% correct. Because iron loss will be constant, it won't change whether load or not loaded. But copper loss depends on loading condition. If you say when iron loss is equal to copper loss means if copper loss is very high, iron loss also will become same much. So that is not correct. You should say when copper loss is equal to iron loss, then efficiency is maximum. See what is another name for iron loss? Constant loss. Okay. When constant loss is equal to what is copper loss? Another name? Variable loss. Copper loss, another name is variable loss. So what is another name for iron loss? Core loss. When core loss is equal to copper loss, efficiency will be maximum. Okay. But you read it like this. When copper loss is equal to iron loss, efficiency will be maximum. That is correct. Okay. Because iron losses will be as low as possible. It will be very less in a practical transformer compared to copper losses. So if you make copper losses is equal to iron losses, then you can predict maximum efficiency. Okay, got it guys. So this derivation is very very important. Okay. So next derivation is based on this equation. From this I am going to obtain other equation that is a maximum KV rating so or KV rating at maximum efficiency. So that I will explain in the next video that is our class number 10. So guys please do like, share and subscribe. Share this videos as many friends you know. Okay. So keep supporting me like this. So have a nice day. So in next video I am going to upload a continuation of this but for this particular question so it is ended by here there are the condition for maximum efficiency of a transformer is what is the condition iron loss is equal to copper loss okay got it so very simple now you should write efficiency equation differentiate so remember the formula if you don't know you write vtu minus utv okay divided by v square take each and every term simplify neatly properly and finally you get like this pi is equal to i2 square r2e okay so have a nice day take care bye bye